Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to pick up on the energy for my beloved Scorpios. I missed you all. It's been a couple of days. I like to, you know, do the readings whenever I feel called to do the readings, opposed to just pumping out readings just because. So, Spirit told me now is the time. And so here I am to get a channeled message for the beloveds. Tomorrow is a very powerful, powerful synchronicity. Uh, so please, please, please utilize that energy. Uh, it's also Tuesday. So as I've been encouraging you all uh, to do the Archangel Michael uh, nine-week ritual, if you have not begun that, or started that tomorrow is the best time, the most opportune time to do it, especially with that two 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 portal um, being opened up. Um, so definitely look into that. Um, if you look at, I'm not sure which reading it is, but I have the actual prayer um, pinned in the video. So just look a couple of readings back. Pardon me. Got some sirens going off. So this is a message for y'all. That's confirmation that some of you all may need to do this, uh, you know, because I feel like some of you all are manifesting uh, some new things. And I think that, you know, working with Archangel Mikael could be very, uh, very beneficial because he really, truly brings forth miracles. Um, so welcome to anyone that may be new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. Um, I am also an empath. I channel messages intuitively. Uh, I am also Claire audience, so I do incorporate music into the readings, and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages that come out in the tarot cards. Right now we have Kendrick Lamar, uh, and the name of the song is Humble. So in the song he's saying, um, be humble. Uh, so many of you all, I feel because you have like serious wish fulfillment coming in, a lot of miracles taking place in your lives. Some of you all might just be finding yourselves just good things are happening to you. A lot of good things, good vibrations. You bumping into the right people. You're making the right business calls, the right judgment calls, and it's just landing you in some really... Um, positive circumstances. So the divine is saying like, you know, remain humble, you know, remain grounded in these, in these moments, uh, because it's been a long time coming. Uh, I feel like you, you all are receiving wish fulfillment. As I said, confirmation, my phone just chimed. So it's like you all are receiving some sort of wish fulfillment. And I feel like it could be very overwhelming. And for some people, they might get a little like, Oh, you know, like they might start feeling themselves, smelling themselves. But, um, I feel like the divine is just saying like, literally just be humble because there's more where that comes from. Um, so the divine is going to test you with a little bit just to see how you're going to handle a lot. So if you're receiving like little wish fulfillments, like you may win a little $5 scratch off, uh, you know, and if you just sitting there smelling yourself, let, let's boost it up a notch. Let's say you win a $500 scratch off and then you start like popping your collar and acting like you, you, you Mrs. Mr. or Mrs. Money bags, then, you know, that $5 million <laughs> scratch off may not come your way no time soon. So it's about about being humble, being grounded in the moment and knowing that it is your birthright, you know, it's your birthright. So if, you, if it's your birthright to live in abundance and to have opulence and to have things expanding in your lives, then you're going to remain grounded in that. And you're going to look for opportunities to help other people who might need uh, that assistance. You might be that vessel uh, to share how you were able to manifest and call in those wish fulfillments. So I feel like the divine is just reminding some of you all to just be humble. Maybe some of y'all just recently got like a promotion or a pay increase and it's like a significant jump from where you started off, you know, and I'm hearing the word, the words humble beginnings. So it's like where you started is very different from where you're landing. So the divine is reminding you, be humble, remain grounded, uh, give thanks, show gratitude, uh, to your ancestors, to your, your divine, um, you know, the divine energy, because that's where the, 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 uh, 
um, that gratitude is, is, is meant to go. You need to give thanks and to show gratitude to those that you know have helped you on your journey, on your path. So be humble, beloveds. So um, that's just what I'm picking up from that song. Right now we have Mental Notes. And the name of the song is called Scratch. So that's a mental note for some of you all. I feel like a lot of y'all could be brainstorming also with some ideas or with some future plans. Um, maybe you're taking mental notes or uh, maybe you're, you know, having some sort of mental Rolodex. You're keeping something um you know, you're just keeping something in mind uh, in terms of like maybe, like I said, a, a, a particular idea and maybe a direction you wish to go in. So you're like, you know, you're keeping certain things um, noted, if you will, so that you could pursue those goals or those endeavors at a future time. Um, so again, uh, welcome to anyone that may be new to everyone that returned. You already know what the, what, what it is. You already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I appreciate you all dearly. Um, so for anyone that may be new, this is a general reading. My spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that's exactly uh, the divine timing, the uh, perfect timing for you all to do so. Um, so let's go ahead, get some house cleaning done. Whew. Get a little exhale. So I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, Mama Oya, Mama Yemenya, and Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now, it's still mental note. So I feel like you all could be like in meditation right now. Uh, you could literally be pondering on something, um, planning something, but you are doing so um, because you're, it's almost like you're evaluating or you're, you're kind of like... Um, preparing for something it's like you're you're developing some sort of strategy plan um so I, I do get that because of mental notes here so let's let's take a look and it's 5 32 on the clock so that's 10 so maybe some of you all are planning an escape or maybe you all have recently cut your ties uh cut some sort of karmic cord or had some sort of karmic completion uh with someone from your past and now you're like venturing on into this new beginning uh so you're really very intentional about what you're doing, uh, which direction you're going, who you're dealing with, what you have around you. So you could be really, really just very um, in your head, being very logical at this time, using a lot of cerebral uh, energy at this time. Uh, right now, we got Whitney Houston. This is called You Give Good Love. So it's possible that somebody is thinking of you. Maybe somebody has you in their thoughts. Um, maybe someone is remembering a time um, of intimacy, whether that was a physical intimate moment or maybe just being in your presence, uh, having an intimate moment or maybe uh, some deep conversations, uh, some good food and glasses of wine, you know, pouring libation and just sharing conversations. Uh, someone is really, really um, thinking back, reflecting back, uh, you know, it's noted. It's like I'm hearing duly noted um, of how good the love was that you gave. You know, uh, it wasn't just intimate. If if it if it was at all, um, I'm just getting a sense of someone really just appreciating uh, those moments of intimacy, uh, being able to share uh, that time, that space, that energy with you whenever they did. So on the bottom of the deck, we have uh, abundance. So you have some abundance. I feel emotional. Uh, 
fulfillment is more so um, what this abundance is uh, speaking to, but this also could speak to financial fulfillment, which is going to make you very happy, very overjoyed, very, very satisfied, very elated. Uh, this 88, that's double numbers, um, and that reduces to 16, 16 reduces to 7. I feel like a lot of you all know wish fulfillment is coming in, and it's because, as I said, maybe you all have manifested this. I get a sense of like you all becoming master manifestors. I felt that in a former reading that I did. It was a reading before the last and it just felt like you all were, uh, you know, you were the master manifestors and you were creating your reality. So I feel like you all now, uh, really truly understand, um, the process of master manifesting, of setting intention. Um, just as I said earlier, I just feel a sense of intentionality. Like you're being very intentional with everything you do, not just in love, not just in terms of your finances, but everything you do, which is why that mental notes was there. So there's a lot of um, pondering, reflecting perhaps, or maybe just planning, maybe strategizing. Uh, but I do feel like there's abundance coming in for you all. And I feel, you know, uh, because that seven deals with the, the, you know, the, uh, crowned chakra, that's the number of the crown chakra. So as I feel, I was feeling earlier, maybe there's wish fulfillment coming in and the divine is reminding you to be humble because you had Kendrick Lamar. So you, this abundance that's coming in, uh, is not just related to love like Whitney Houston is saying because she's saying you give good love but it's also I feel in um and um, dealing with your financial circumstances and what you have, uh, you know, coming in for you in terms of like wish fulfillment. And these are things you've manifested uh, with your own mind, with your own intention. 1111, you do got love coming in. So with this abundance, you're going to feel very emotionally fulfilled, as I said, very elated. So that's beautiful. So let's get a split. On the split, we got physical activity. So just as I said, you know... Um, with physical activity, I feel like you've been very proactive. Uh, and I feel because this is 67, that's 13. I feel like it was your doing. It was your hard work. You cutting off something, completing some sort of karmic cycle, ending some sort of cycle. It's like it's showing the work that you've put in to achieve this goal. And now you have balance because that 13 is the death card in traditional tarot. But it also breaks down to four. So now there's stability, there's security. Uh, now you have a more stable foundation even after some sort of tower moment because that you know that that death could be in you know pertinence to some sort of uh unexpected upheaval ending uh ending um some sort of break up or something that came to light uh but you were very proactive in you know working hard to achieve your own level of independence and stability and now you're going to be rewarded uh i feel like you're going to be rewarded in many ways um in, and namely emotional fulfillment as well as uh financial blessings and abundance and prosperity so we got moderation just flew out so i feel like this is your uh bonus message so this moderation is all about changes um, I feel like there's a lot of changes that are taking place. And I feel because this is an all green card, it's showing the emotional change that you have made. So many of you may have had to learn to love yourselves, uh, to practice self-care, uh, being softer, being more delicate, being more patient, not judging, um, just focusing on the love and light that's not only within yourselves, but that's within all people. Um, I feel like many of you, because this is red in the center, I feel like this is also just showing how a lot of you had to do that root work. You went back to the root cause of the problems. And by you doing that, you were able to heal. You were able to address some of those things that may have had you responding, reacting and triggered, uh, you know, in your relationships, your friendships and your family dynamics. So those changes were very healthy changes. It's taught you to, to remain grounded, to remain focused. Um, and I also feel like there's some sort of communication that could come in, which could change your life, which could change your, your world. Um, and we have Aaliyah and this is called old school. Um, so maybe this is someone, you know, from your past, uh, someone, you know, that could be reaching out to you that you may have known from back in the days. Cause when I hear old 
middle school, it's 14, 14. So yeah, maybe somebody that you knew from your past is going to be communicating with you because that was 14, 14. And then this is the number 14. So I feel like the divine is literally saying like, yeah, message. So somebody will be communicating with you because 14, 14 and 14, that's five, 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 that's 15, 16. Um, so that's, uh, what is that? 15, that's six. So, um, so that's somebody that's looking to, um, to bring harmony, to bring balance to a situation. This is someone that may communicate with you telepathically, intuitively, or maybe just somebody that thinks about you all the time. And they think about you so much um, that you may be picking up on this person's uh, energy. You may be picking up on someone in particular, their vibration. Um, with old school, I do feel like you are very old school. You have an old soul about you. And I feel like this is something that someone is very attracted to to. Uh, this is something that someone really, um, feels drawn to because you don't, you don't try so hard. Like other people may be really, really trying, you know, to, to look a certain way or to appear a certain way, but you're just who you are authentically. It's like, you're an individual. You're not trying to be anything other than what you are. And that's what they like. Um, any type of changes that you have made have been more internal you know, it has been more so, like I said, just healing inner child wounds and soul searching and growing um, at a spiritual level. So you're like more spiritually strong, more spiritually in alignment, you're grounded, balanced, and just more, um, you know, you just have a more loving and uh you radiate this, this light, you radiate this love, you radiate a sense of confidence and that's very attractive. So I feel someone is feeling drawn and called to speak to you, to call you. Um, we got flowetry and this is called now you're gone. So maybe someone's arrogance or someone's cockiness, uh, may have cost them you, uh, and now you have changed. So maybe someone, you know, with mental notes, maybe that person, uh, if someone is thinking of you or if that's just you and your thoughts, uh, thinking of someone in particular, I feel like this is someone who's, you know, really pondering on, you know, maybe a strategy, maybe a way in how to approach you, how to address you. And they typically, they want to come out of hiding because I do get a sense of hiding. And so we got health here on the bottom of the deck and this is purple on the inside and this is all orange. And this is the number 17, seven, uh, 71, excuse me. So that reduces to eighth. So I feel someone's mental health was in question. Maybe somebody was self-decept, you know, self-deceiving themselves or self-sabotaging, I should say, and deceiving themselves in terms of how they felt. And now someone's having some sort of epiphany that maybe you were wish fulfillment with that eight. I get, you know, star quality. I feel somebody sees you radiating right now, like you're really radiating and shining and glowing. You've grown, you've matured, you've transformed, you're a different person. They see the changes you've made. It's like you have some sort of like self-love, you're very self disciplined so you have this, this air of confidence, but you also have a sense of self-respect, dignity, and integrity. So you've set boundaries and someone is like really feeling a certain way about that because now it says, now you're gone. And this is by flowetry and it says more than I can feel. So I feel someone is really strongly, um, you know, feeling a lot of pain, um, not being able to communicate with you or build with you because I was picking up that someone really just enjoyed, uh, you know, those intimate moments of just conversing, laughing, you know, talking about everything under the sun, moon, and stars, just building that connection and growing, uh, closer with you, um, on a deep scale. You know, it's deeper than just, like I said, sex and getting in somebody's pants. It's like you, you, they, this person feels a connection with you. And I feel with 1818, something changed. Uh, cause that 1818 is nine, 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 nine again is nine. So something changed within the connection. Uh, this person now sees you as wish fulfillment cause I'm here in nine of cups. I also feel the nine of wands. So maybe you're guarded. Maybe you walked away cause it says now you're gone. So maybe you feel like, you know, you gave someone an opportunity to to show interest or to um to accept your love offer but they may have played hard to get and now it's like it's costing them maybe they were not humble uh, maybe they were very cocky very egotistical very proud very stubborn and now someone is you know their health you know mental health they're like kind of agonizing because i'm getting with the 71 that's eight the eight of swords so someone could be really like stressed out anxious ruminating pining singing they should have could have would have i should have left you know i should have took the opportunity to be with scorpio i could have did this i would have did that if this was 
wasn't going on. It's like they're beating themselves up. And the divine is literally like giving them some sort of download. Um, I do feel again, like this person thinks about you a lot. And maybe some of you all find yourselves thinking of someone in particular, only you know who that is. Uh, and that's why that mental notes was there because it's almost like somebody just sticks out in your, in your mind. So let's go ahead. We're going to uh, continue to shuffle and we're going to get some messages for my beloved Scorpios. See what's coming and going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light. So that was your bonus, the moderation card. I see a lot of emotional changes. You know, I just hear self-love, self-care. Like you really all about the self right now. You're really being very self ish with your time, with your energy, with who you divvy it out to, who you are around. It's like, because right now it's like you are so sensitive. So you are very mindful to be around really positive, high vibrational energy. You don't want to be around nothing that's toxic, whether it be people, whether it be toxic environments, whether it be you eating toxic foods. It's like you are very sensitive and you can feel the effect effects that it has on you uh when you are in those um you know those toxic environments so let's go ahead cut the deck divine spirit of love and light let's see what we got and this is going to be the overall energy surrounding the situation we have forgiveness so the divine is saying through the act of forgiveness you will find balance you will find a sense of stability security you know uh this is about harmony being in harmony, being in a sense of oneness. This is also about trusting your intuition. Maybe you all have trusted your intuition and decided to walk away, make those changes because you knew that someone was definitely not, um, not on your frequency, not speaking your love language. They didn't have anything to offer. Right now we have Jay-Z. This is called feeling it. So I do feel like you trust how you were feeling. You know, you trust the energy you was picking up from people. Um, you went with how the energy spoke to your spirit ultimately. And if you wasn't feeling it, then you wasn't going to partake in it. Just as I was saying earlier, because you're being more selfish right now, um, and, and that's very important because it's now just showing that you have a sense of self-love. You have created healthy boundaries because uh, I was picking up that you had given people chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity, and all they did was abuse it and exploit that. So now we have this new beginning. So, you know, what you are attracting or what you are um, going towards is a brand new beginning. I feel like you are um, feeling, you know, that you're on the precipice of something new because this is called feeling it so as i said like that's that high priestess energy that's those those tingling sensations your spidey senses are going off so you can just feel something is coming something major and it has a lot to do with that abundance that we saw so not only is it an abundance of say per, uh financial blessings and wish fulfillment and perhaps miracles and and answered prayers but it's also uh you know some sort of love opportunity love connection um and it's 547 so that still reduces to seven and i feel like you know there's a sense that you you can feel it. You can sense it. It's like that oracle. It's like that magi, that alchemist. You know you've manifested this and it's materializing. So this new beginning, you're on the precipice of something very beautiful, something new. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're following by you following your heart's truest desires. Cause that's what this is. You know, with the moderations you chose to, to make those changes. Uh, and I'm hearing make that change. Men in the mirror. So I'm hearing that Michael Jackson joint. So that's what you all did. You had to make those changes within yourselves. That's literally like, you know, doing that, 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 uh, shadow work. You know, you're looking at that, that, that reflection staring back at you in the mirror and it's 23, 23. So that's what you had to change. That's what you had to stop doing. You had to change your ideologies, your belief systems. There was 23, 23, that's five, five. And then the, we have the, the train honking. So a confirmation. So now you have thank you spirit now you have some very passionate new beginnings this is like you moving forward full steam ahead uh because you're feeling very very um very powerful at this time you know you feel very powerful so let's see who is scorpio attracting who is scorpio attracting to them divine spirit love and light thank you spirit 
So we have two messages. So you're attracting somebody who's also going through some sort of karmic completion. They've learned major lessons. These lessons were destined. They had to learn a lot. And what they've learned is, you know, because this was, this is a gray card and it's also red in the middle. So they also had to go to the root causes. They had to change their belief systems. I feel this person could have suffered from some sort of like um, depression, you know, and I feel like, you know, maybe this person was triggered by you doing your work, your soul work, by you, you know, doing that that shadow work, you could have triggered your divine masculine or divine feminine to also do their shadow work because I do feel like there's a sense of mirroring whenever you're dealing with like a divine counterpart or a soul connection, a spiritual partnership. Uh, right now we have prodigy and alchemist and it's called give them hell. So somebody has gone through hell and high water. Maybe their karmic gave them hell. And this is why this person is now finding the power, the strength, the courage, the wisdom to walk away, to end that connection and I feel like you know this person could have um you know a lot of a lot of resentment and animosity uh and they're trying to you know find forgiveness for perhaps the wrongdoing that was done to them but I do sense that this person that you are attracting they too are uh looking for a passionate new start uh they're looking for a new beginning a brand new day and this is someone that has learned valuable lessons someone that's very um that I would say this person has also uh gone through um or reached this a, a, a level of self mastery if you will how they feel about you is love you know they feel that you uh i'm hearing the word complete them because when i hear the um when i see the six i think of you know almost like that yin yang you know energy so that's completion but it's two people that are whole coming together to you know complete the whole picture if you will so it's like you're in uh balance masculinity and femininity harmonized and then you're attracting someone else that is also uh, coming into harmony because they've too have learned those same lessons you've learned. So it's like you have mirrored uh, someone else because this person is speaking your love language. This person could be someone you know from your past because I'm getting six of cups. So this is someone that could have walked away from you uh, and chose another option only to regret their decision, only to, you know, look back and miss and long and yearn for your presence. Uh, I'm getting also with this six, the, the lovers. I'm feeling like this person is being you know, aligned with you again. There's an opportunity because this is prodigy and alchemist. So with alchemist, I feel like maybe you have manifested this person and maybe this person has manifested you. Um, I do feel there's a lot of activity, mental activity. So whether you communicate with this person intuitively, knowingly or not, or whether they're doing that with you, or maybe someone is very skilled at astral traveling, so they could be remotely watching you through those means, or maybe you'll just literally have someone like dreaming of you or thinking of you constantly. There's a lot of mental activity, 27, 27. So there is going to be a positive change because I do feel like this person sees you as wish fulfillment. I feel like this person sees you as that pre-empress or pre-empress status, someone who's worked very hard to, to make changes, to, you know, establish their own sense of independence and self-sufficiency. Uh, this is someone that sees that you are very happy. You're very grounded. You could be very like, you know, just have that radiance. So you're a natural healer, very nurturing, very loving and very caring. And this person, when they think of you, how they feel about you is love. It's like they, they see you as someone very loving, but they also feel love for you. And so we have Fabian and this is called prophecy. So I feel like this person, as I said, um, maybe they are manifesting you or they could be really, you know, uh, Maybe you're manifesting this person because I do feel like, you know, as I said, a lot of you all are receiving wish fulfillment. And that's, you know, why the divine was reminding you to be humble in the beginning, because you're prophesying 
uh, prophesizing your future. Um, I feel like this person sees you as someone very, very psychic, uh, an oracle, a sorcerer, uh, that high priestess, high priest energy, someone very spiritually strong, spiritually aligned, very intuitive. Um, and this is someone that is definitely looking at you as someone that predicts the future. Maybe they are very aware of how psychic you are or intuitive you are. And maybe that's something they like about you, love about you, something they find to be very unique. Um, so we have in the bottom of the deck, what did I say? They've watched you grow. And they also, you know, I feel like, you know, what's hidden in the energy we're about to clarify is personal growth. So I feel psychically, as I said, a lot of you all have really, really been mastering your craft. Um, you've really been honing your skill on a psychic level, on a spiritual level. I feel many of you all have really grown from a lot of your experiences. The karmic completions and lessons have really led you to become that, 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 that self-mastered uh, divine feminine and divine masculine. It's like you've learned from all of the experiences that you've gone through. And that's why here we got prophecy. So many of you all are very, very sensitive, as I said, when it comes to energy, when it comes to people, uh, you speak energy, literally. You may be able to see auras. Um, you may be skilled in that way, uh, where you can literally like see people's auras. You could feel people's energy. Um, you just know when something is right. Maybe you're very strong uh, empathically. You could be a very strong empath. And so I do feel like with this personal growth, it shows. This is an all purple card. Seven deals with the crown chakra. So there's a lot of downloads, a lot of divine uh, interventions you all are receiving. Many of you could be receiving a lot of transmissions at this time. Very, very lucid dreams. Maybe you're waking up and you could be jotting down ideas, just as I said in the beginning because you had mental note and so maybe some of you all are like you know scribing in your manifestation journals or jotting down in your dream journals some of the you know some of those um, um, memories you're having from your dreams uh, but I do feel like you know th there's a sense that uh, there, there's this growth you're you've evolved you've ascended uh, in your psychic abilities gifts and talents so so others see that and there's this sensitivity like you're very sensitive as I said so let's see what is hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios divine spirit of love and light what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios I have a message of love and light, divine spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? May have a message of love and of light. What's hidden is somebody's trying to hold back. All right, so those cards, and we have parenting. So some of you all, maybe uh, you are mothers or fathers. Maybe you are pregnant right now with child. So congratulations. I do see with 63. Some of you all could just, like I said in the beginning, be birthing new ideas, new skills, new talents, uh, coming up with new projects. Uh, that's perhaps why you're uh, with that mental notes, just coming up with new ideas, really strategizing Um really trying to hone certain skills, gifts, and talents, or many of you could just be parents and you know, you're really taking the time out to heal and nurture your children. Maybe you're healing that inner child. Maybe someone is healing their inner child. Uh, some of you all could be dealing with the parents, the other mother or the father of your child at this time. And the divine is telling you to use your intuition. I feel like some of you all may feel that you're, you're at your wits end. Like you've given someone chance after chance, opportunity after the opportunity, but I do feel like things are going to improve. Like there's some sort of, um, out, there's a positive outcome. Um, so just remain hopeful and optimistic because I do see that there's going to be some clarity or some sort of truth, or maybe someone is going to reveal something to you that you were not expecting, or maybe there's some sort of, um, just some sort of um, good news, you know, some good news or good outcome, I just feel. So let's see. The um, So we have leadership is what's hidden. So many of you all took your power back. You're standing in your power. Many of you all could really be like... Um, the, the soul provider. You could be the uh, head of a household. So a lot of you could really be just grinding right now to take care of your home, taking care of your children. Maybe you've started businesses. As I said in the beginning, I got a feeling that some of you all could be strategizing new ideas and plans for new business, you know, to, to start some new endeavor. Um, but I do feel like there are a lot of people that see you as a leader, as a boss, someone who has elevated, someone who has graduated, some 
someone who is very much glowing and growing and radiating love and light. 3333, three, 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 so that's 12. So I do feel like there's a sense that with this leadership, uh, you may have um, someone that sees you as that, that divine feminine. Uh, the divine feminine, because that 3333 three, three, three is 12, so that's 3. So 3 is the number of the uh, divine feminine, the empress in traditional tarot. So I do feel someone really sees you as very powerful, uh, a master manifester, someone very beautiful, very attractive. It's like you don't have to work for anything. You just attract what you want, but you're also very powerful because you know your worth. You know you're valuable. Uh, you know your worth and your value. Um, they also see that you move to the beat of your own drum. Uh, so you could be very creative, very unique, uh, just a rare breed. You know, someone that is very caring and loving and nurturing of the people around you, of your family, very protective. Uh, so this is someone that really can see building, you know, that nucleus or planting seeds and roots or, you know, um, building a future, a legacy with you, um, being your rock, being your provider, your protector. So this person is very attracted and this 81 reduces to nine. So I'm getting that nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy. They see how hard you've worked and how much you've elevated, how strong you are, how grounded you are. You're just like, you harmonize their energy. They see you as love like when they think of love you are the very depiction of love you know in their mind's eyes so they see you when someone sees you as a leadership like in that leadership role it's like someone really admires the strength that you exude they admire you know that power that you possess they admire the beauty um that you also garner uh this is someone that really also sees you as very wise very intelligent like you have um a say you know and and it's very it's very insightful um so this is someone that really can see you as someone that they can really invest with um and build with more importantly so with that nine they really want to make a change they want to come towards you because there's this strong attraction this chemistry they feel this connectivity like i said it's almost as if this person feels drawn or like they're yearning for you. You know what I'm saying? So right now, um, this is the rebirth. This is the outcome. So there is an opportunity I see uh, for something to transform with the 61, that's seven. And like I said, you know this, uh, you could feel this change. You could feel that there's a shift in the energy. There's a shift even within your own Christ consciousness, but there's also a shift that is taking place in your reality because you have changed your mind. So as you change your mind, you change your reality. And through your rebirth, through your transformation, through your startling metamorphosis, you're changing your reality uh, because you have made those emotional internal changes. You have healed, like I said, from the root cause of something that could have had you trapped uh, in a lot of karmic lessons and you had to break those karmic cords, generational curses, yokes. You had to break that in order to free yourselves from something that kept you trapped or kept you stuck or kept you feeling very stagnated. And so now with this rebirth, this is you emerging someone new. This is also you coming you know, out of that space of, uh, you know, confusion and confliction, uh, being mentally conflicted uh, to now, you know, having that epiphany, um, that aha moment. Um, and we have Erica Badu. This is called Hello. So again, hello. It's like, hello, you, you got it. It's like, that's what you're having right now with this rebirth. This is your reintroduction uh, to the world, you know, emerging someone very wise. And I do feel like someone is uh, communicating with you, um, telling telepathically and then they will eventually call on you know call you and it was just 37 37 so I feel like this is someone that you know from your past as I said with that six of cups because how they feel about you is love and that was giving me that six of cups energy which is usually someone you know from your past the bottom of the deck is parenting so you know I don't know if maybe you have children or maybe this is someone that you have children with um that may want to come back and reconcile uh and heal a situation that was um, dead, stinking, and buried. But I do get a strong sense that um, if that isn't, you know, that person from your past, uh, maybe this is someone who, you know, could have fought the connection because of children. Maybe children were a factor. Uh, what did I say about a happy ending? 
I was feeling like, you know, there was a happy ending with this card. Remember I was saying that, the, you know, the outcome would be, you know, very happy because this is a very happy card, you know, this is the yellow. So this is like, you know, speaking to, you know, something being revitalized, rejuvenated, you feeling a sense of, you know, just zest for life. But I do feel like there's a happy ending and it's going to happen very naturally, very organically. And I just feel that there's just something positive um, that's on, you're on the precipice of something beautiful, something positive. So let's go ahead, cut the deck on the bottom of the deck. Look at that woman holding a coin. Didn't I tell y'all, y'all had some change coming in, baby, whether feminine or masculine. And so this is something I feel you've manifested with this 45, I mean the 42, excuse me, six, you know, it's coming because that's your, your first eye chakra, the number six chakra, you know, and you know, you are the alchemist. You manifested this. So I feel like you co-created with source to manifest something. What did I just said that? There goes the magician in the mirror. You have manifested this. You've manifested some sort of financial uh, opportunity. There's a blessing coming in, something that's going to bring stability, security. Uh, I feel financial freedom. Uh, I feel like you're not going to have to worry about money. Like you're going to have an infinite supply because when you have abundance, 39, 39. So that's six. That reduces to six. So I do feel like there's something beautiful coming in. And this is due to you manifesting it as as I said earlier, you know, what you think you create. So if you're thinking negatively, then you're going to create a whole negative life. So think positively, uh, you know, envision yourselves manifesting. Even here, it's, you know, showing that this magician, they are the soul controller soul controller of their universe of their destiny and you can see he controls fire and water you know earth air and ether you know so that's when you are co-creating with source and so the divine is literally saying that you're manifesting some sort of financial blessing i feel you also have somebody um that sees your worth and value sees you as someone as i said you know that is um a very valuable, uh, you know, part to the, to their life. Like you, you would really bring value. You would bring joy. You would bring happiness. Um, you just have, a, you know, some, a sense of, um, purity. I'm hearing the word purity, you know, and what they're saying in the outro is don't change, don't change girl. So I feel like you haven't changed. That's, that's what they like about you. I just get a sense of you being like an individual. You're very uniquely made, you know? And so we have action and then we have indecision. See this? So someone could have been trapped in their head, in their thoughts. Remember earlier we were seeing, um, I believe it was 71 and I was picking up on eight of swords energy where somebody could have been really like, you know, ruminating and pining and singing. They could have, should have, would have. And so now this person that was stuck in their mind because maybe they was in two minds because this is literally like that fork in the road. Do I go left? Do I choose option A or option B? Um, and I feel like this is what had this person kind of stagnated and stuck. And now there's this sense of moving out of that. This person is moving out of that confusion because now they see the light that had some moment of clarity this 17 that reduces to eight so they were in this confusion but now they're moving towards wish fulfillment I feel like these horses, because there's a white and a black, this is about balance. This is that yin yang type of energy that I referenced earlier. So this could be that twin flame. This could be that person you've manifested or the person that's manifesting you. And I feel like this person had to find balance within themselves, find a sense of confidence within themselves before they could take action. Maybe they were trying to bring, um, you know, some sort of balance in terms of their finances, in terms of their lives before they could take action. And now that things are balanced, uh, they, now they could come towards you. Uh, we have Bobby Valentino and this is called, um, slow down. This is featuring Nas. So yeah, they had to take a moment to pause because maybe everything, you know, in their lives was like kind of being rushed along, uh, in the past. And now, you know, they, they move more with intention 42, 42, so as to remain balanced. So this is someone you all may know because 42, 42 is 6, 6, 6, 6 is 12. That's three. So this could be someone three of cups energy that could be returning, wanting to reunite, wanting to reconcile, wanting to heal, wanting to rebuild. Um, 
And I feel like, you know, maybe somebody was being deceptive in the past, being, you know, very uh, sneaky, not telling you the full story, not telling you how they truly felt, maybe self-sabotaging up in their head, as I said, trying to deny, deny, deny. Uh, and, you know, again, I feel like, you know, they, they're now having some sort of epiphany that, you know, this is how they truly feel. This is what they truly feel. What they truly desire is to love you, is to be with you. And maybe, you know, things slow down between the two of you, including the communication including um just the um the interactions and that's really affecting them see someone was li literally trapped you know confused conflicted only doing what was comfortable not stepping outside of their comfort levels this is someone just kind of like i feel you know with this garden and the gate this is someone not willing to take risks you know they just kind of lived very comfortably so maybe someone was in a relationship or a marriage and you know they just stayed there because it was convenient um or they stayed there out of obligation but they're still looking out into the world wondering and and and, and desiring more hoping for more so maybe someone finally strategized a plan um, to move forward or to exit a situation because they realized that something just wasn't, um, it just wasn't quenching their thirst. Uh, they were not um, satisfied. They were not, um, they were not in, um, you know, they were not satisfied. They were not happy. And so maybe now this person is going to take action because the threes are all, to me, it's like ready, set, go. Um, so maybe they, they slow down so that they can plan and prepare and strategize their way to come towards you. And now they will. And look at this. We got angel of love and it's four, 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 four. So your angels are bringing this person back uh, or bringing someone in particular. If you haven't met this person, this is someone that's coming in. That's going to be ready, willing, and able to love you right. Um, this is someone that's going slow it down so they can get it right uh this is not someone that's going to rush in like the knight of cups wands and swords this is someone that's going to take their time because this is the type of person that plans prepares uh so that they can invest they want to invest long term they want commitment um and so the angel of love is is helping someone to to really you know ground themselves to prepare to come in uh so that they can offer you something real something tangible, something stable. And so I feel like this angel is really aligning you and another person together. Um, and we see here with this, uh, this, uh, uh, what is this second chakra? So yeah, this person is very attracted to you as we could see. Uh, cause that, that sacral is literally like, you know, that's that Aphrodite energy, uh, very feminine energy. So I feel like your self love, your self care is making you very attractive at this time. So the bottom of the deck, we have Archangel Gabriel. Who is that? Archangel. Oh, Raphael. So the heart chakra, look at that. And then this is what this is. So this is, you know, um, going to clarify the uh, bonus message, which was the moderation. So those were the changes. Just as I said, you made emotional changes. You had to change, you know, how you were treating yourselves, how you were allowing other people to treat you by, you know, creating boundaries and cutting people, places and things off that weren't serving you. But I also feel like Archangel Raphael helped you to heal uh, from some sort of broken heart, some sort of disconnect uh, from the people that you love from the people that you may have been in um, opposition with uh, or that may have been in opposition with you. You know, you discovered that, you know, a lot of people that you trusted just weren't trustworthy. So you may have had a lot of Judases, energy vampires, a lot of snakes and fakes, incubus, succubus type of connections, bonds and ties that you had to really, really step back and evaluate uh, so that you can move forward uh, towards something that would be more uh, on your wavelength, your vibration, speak your love language. And so I feel Archangel Raphael helped you to heal. I feel he taught you how to heal because every great healer has to first heal themselves. And with this 38, I do feel like there was a lot of downloads, divine interventions, a lot of synchronicities, just letting you know you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. Keep it up. Keep going. Keep, you know, and so that's what that does. When you constantly see those synchronicities, it just gives you hope. It gives you that, that feeling like, okay, I'm on the right path. I'm doing the right thing. And so that's what Archangel Raphael did with this 38. That's 11. I also feel like this is about you healing and being healthy uh, 
first and foremost for yourself, but also so that you could attract a healthy love. So you could attract someone who's also um, emotionally intelligent and available and attentive and affectionate. So this is 11 and we got 11, 11 right now. So you're attracting someone that is your spiritual partner, someone that is your divine counterpart, someone that is your twin flame. So this is someone the divine is aligning you with. Just as I said, that's why that angel of love was there because they're bringing you a real love like Mary J. Blige sings. And right now we have um, star point. So I do feel this is a wish fulfillment. I do feel someone is watching you kind of radiate and bask in some sort of limelight. You're getting some sort of uh, recognition, some success, but you are the object of their desire. And I feel they're literally like some sort of secret admirer um, with forgiveness here. Someone is seeking your forgiveness. I also feel like with that forgiveness, you've also forgiven those who um, a didn't know, you know, knew not what they were doing and B those that never extended an apology for breaking your heart and for betraying you. So I do feel like through you, you know, showing that type of strength and taking your power back, um, you're being rewarded because of that. And this is why you're in balance. You're in emotional equilibrium because you're not still holding on to resentment and animosity, which can literally anchor you. So we have object of my desire. So someone is now ready to voyage, uh, you know, take this voyage voyage, whoever that was, that was kind of stuck in two minds. We already saw them taking action because that eight, remember we had the eight of swords where they were stuck at the fork in the road. And then we had that action card with the two horses, the yin yang energy. Now they're journeying. So there's a journey. This was all, like I said, predestined, preordained. It was meant for the both of you to go through what you did because it was karmic lessons that were needing to be completed. These were lessons, karmic uh, lessons that you could have accumulated not only in this lifetime, but former lifetimes and not only just you, but you're a person. So now this person is literally, you know, on their journey, they're on their way towards you. They're balanced now. This is duality. So there's a sense of emotional balance. There's a sense of, uh, being not just emotionally balanced, but also being like logically balanced, like having that sense of, uh, of, of, um, you know, uh, emotional intelligence. And so now they're, they're on this journey, this voyage, but it's been a journey also, uh, to, to be able to forgive. So with the object of my desire, someone is coming towards you. They're making that decision to come towards you because they desire you. As I said, object of my desire, I was picking up in the beginning, somebody was like yearning and longing and desiring. And this is this person that's now coming towards you. So let's see, why is forgiveness here for the overall energy? Thank you, spirit. What did I say? You got the moon here. This is someone that's been hiding their feelings. This is not a bone. This isn't just like something, um, you know, um, well, I shouldn't say that, but this is like, this is someone hiding their feelings. This is something that's hidden. So maybe you also discovered a lot of secrets. You discovered things that you may not have known about someone in particular and, and you forgave. You had to smile and forgive them all. Smile and forgive all of those that did you dirty, did you wrong, uh, betrayed you, backstabbed. You had to smile and forgive them all. But I also feel this is saying that, you know, in discovering, you know, there was secrets and lies and deception going on. You took that time to discover more about yourself. You took that time to do some soul searching, some healing, some internal dives. And what you discovered was that you are absolutely uh, beautiful. You were deserving. Um, and I feel like you ended up finding yourself by getting lost in this situation. It's like you literally found who you were and you trusted yourselves in the process in the meantime, in between time. This six is the first eye. This seven is the crown chakra. So it's like, this was what leveled you up to some degree because, you know, there's always blissings in the lessons, you know, and that's literally what you went through. So with this card here, we got door to value, door to um, romance. So now this is what you've learned. You've learned your, your love language. And I feel like you also learned what it takes for someone to really open up your heart chakra. So you're not just going to be all open to anybody. Like I said, you've created boundaries now, and this is what you had to go through by, you know, going through that karmic lesson through those karmic situations, ships with people was it taught you how to treat yourselves better and also how to ask for what you want to love yourselves better because you're teaching others how to love you. So self-love makes you more attractive. Now you're attracting someone and there goes that six 
again. So the six is how this person is going to see you as love. The six is also they see you as love because now you're you're radiating love. You're exuding love. You're exuding confidence. And it's because you've done those internal self audits. You're very intuitive. You're very discerning now. So let's see. We got karmic completion and we have healer. So every great healer has to first heal themselves. Someone is an initiate. So you're attracting another spiritual uh, practitioner being uh, someone who's also like a healer, shaman, light worker, uh, magi, someone that could be, you know, a wizard, someone that could be an oracle, a sorcerer. Like you're attracting someone else that's also in the practice, another high priest or priestess energy. Uh, this is someone that has spiritual strength, same as you. They've had to heal themselves, especially after some sort of karmic relationship, karmic cycle. I feel you've also activated or triggered them to start doing their work, uh, to start like seeking wise counsel, to diving and delving deeper in spirituality because it says healer of the ages. Maybe by watching you or maybe you have triggered them. Maybe you're the healer of the ages because this is the 51 again. And remember 51 is six and this is how they see you as love and you're six. So maybe they just feel that you harmonize, you ground their energy. You are our love. So you bring harmony. This is that lovers also, you know, that vibration. So as I said, your angels ancestors are aligning you with someone that is divinely meant for you. And I feel like you have the ability to heal this person as confirmation. So this person is being, was healed by uh, being triggered and activated by you healing thyself. When you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, you know that self, and then you create boundaries. So why is karmic completion here for the person Scorpio is attracting? I do feel like you and this person are spiritual, um, spiritual beings. Like you're both very, um, very spiritual, very uh, active, you know, in the occult or esoteric. Look at this. I just said that. Look at that. You got the magician. They're also an alchemist. They're also manifesting you. This is someone that's very, very much a sorceress. They know how to set intention to create their, their reality, same as you. I feel like they was also dealing with somebody that was manipulative, somebody that could have been, you know, kind of um, just very toxic. And we have notorious B.I.G. Juicy. So, yeah, this person, damn, this person really, really. And this is um, someone who's really um, was dealing with someone that was like a narcissist or someone that was just like a master manipulator. But I feel like this person, you know, they mastered something within this relationship, which is why they were able to complete the cycle. You know, and I feel like, you know, when this person comes to you, they just had a lot of juicy details as to what, you know, may have caused the demise of this relationship. I think things got real juicy. Things got real interesting. But this person really walked away and ended that karmic cycle because it wasn't serving their highest good. Look at that victory. So there's a victory here. This person sees that they can have victory with you. You know, with this victory, they, they victoriously ended this cycle, you know, cause we got notorious B I G. So somebody was really dealing with somebody who was, um, very notorious for being a liar, for being deceptive. And I feel like someone really, you know, manifested something better. And now with this victory, I do see this person sees like they could have victory with you. They could have a future with you. They could build a legacy with you because this is also about like marriage, but this is breakthroughs. This is success. They feel like you will bring all of that success victory happiness joy and i feel like they victorious because this is also 28 and so with this karmic completion that's 10 so it's like they victoriously ended a karmic cycle same as you and that's why i was picking up like you were mirror mirroring another person you know you both are mirroring one another you've both gone through very similar uh you know karmic lessons so let's see why is love here for how this person feels oh wow for victory, they feel like they can have the victory with you. They're up in their head. Didn't I say they was up in their head about how, what, when, where? Because they're singing they shoulda, coulda, woulda, is anxious. This is that energy of anxiety, ruminating, pining. How? How do I come towards Scorpio? What do I say? What do I do? But they know deep down, you know, this is those mental notes. This is like mental chatter, you know? And these are their private thoughts. 
you know, but they know deep down they can have the victory. They feel like you are very victorious, you know, that you will bring success into their lives, happiness, joy, peace. They've watched you have major breakthroughs. They've watched you literally transform. I feel like you've give them hope. You give them a sense of hope. You inspire them to want to, um, you know, cut themselves free from those, you know, karmic cords, lessons, people, places, and things. There's a lot of anxiety here. You know, but they are trusting their intuition, intuition. That's what they have to do. They got to go according to their intuition. They know that you are seers. Like you could be a seer. You could be an oracle. Like I said, a psychic, you know, they see you as someone very wise and that could be, you know, maybe they're a little intimidated because you're very intelligent. Like I said, you know, in order for you to be a leader, you have to know how to navigate a lot of different, different, you know, different terrain, you know, circumstances, situations. You have to wear many hats to be a leader. You know, and so this person sees you as such, sees you also as wish fulfillment, someone who's, you know, you don't really need for much. So it's like they don't, you know, they don't know how to come in because it's like, you know, how do you, what, how do you give someone something or how do you gift someone something when they have it all already? You know, so let's see, why is leadership here for what's hidden? Thank you. Goodness. Look at that healer of the ages. So they want to come back and heal this connection. This person also sees you as a healer. So some of you all could have podcasts, self-help. Uh, channels, maybe you have groups, uh, you know, that you help other people navigate a lot of pain, a lot of painful, traumatic uh, experiences in their lives. I'm hearing, um, you know, a sexual assault. Maybe some of you all were, you know, sexual assault survivors and you may have like a group setting or maybe some of you all, uh, you know, could have been uh, molested as children. Uh, and I hear that and you've had to heal and navigate through that pain. Uh, it's 85, 85. Um, so what is that? Uh, so that's five, five, that's 10. So yeah. Um, That was in 10, that was eight. So yeah, so, you know, this is, this is this energy, you know, with this leadership, I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, this person really has seen you ascend and grow. It's almost as if they've watched you become like an initiate, you know, it's like you've been co-creating with source. You have first healed yourselves in order to heal yourselves. You know, you had to really deal with the root cause of the problems and, you know, you can't fake that. You can't fake healing, uh, you know, yourselves. You had, this person has literally watched you, you know, grow and glow. Um, and I feel that at the end of the day, you know, this person sees you as, you know, some sort of leader sees you as someone that is very nurturing, very, very loving, very caring. Uh, and they see you as someone very giving of yourselves with this, uh, daughter, personal healing and happiness. And that's the outcome. I feel like this is what you, you know, you've emerged as someone brand new, and this is what you have awaiting for you. You know, this is what's opening up for you. You've completed it. That's you've completed a karmic cycle. And with completing a karmic cycle, you now have, you know, a bright future ahead of you. We have new opportunity. This is a brand new day. This is like, you know, opening the door to a brand new chapter in your life. And so, as I said, you're on the precipice of something new. Uh, remain humble, remain grounded, rooted uh, in your core values. Um, and things will continue to flow and be fluid for you. We got fat Joe flow Joe on here. So let's see why is rebirth here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Why is rebirth here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Why is rebirth here? Thank you spirit. So thinking woman. So definitely, you know, be very, this is that thinking woman, mental note, strategy, um, you know, kind of like pining over something, thinking, planning, uh, you know, this is that energy, you know, evaluating situations, maybe even in a very studious energy. Uh, but this is someone really like, uh, preparing their next steps, uh, being very intentional with where they choose to go with this rebirth. You've grown, you know, you've grown very wise. You're very, uh, very sensitive to energy, to information, outformation. You get a lot of downloads, divine interventions, transmissions, a lot of activity, cerebral activity. You may even see a lot of synchronicities, a lot of number synchronicities. You may be clairaudient, psychic, 
channelers you may have lucid dreams uh and we see look at that i can't make this up you got archangel Ari uriel here so this is again this is that crown chakra she's dealing with and this is also the 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 divine um this feminine energy here with this 1147 she's very intelligent very logical she listens to her own intuition her inner gumption and next we have um anxiety so someone is trying to figure out how do they approach someone who has changed and transformed and could literally see through them. Someone's very anxious, you know, and if this is you being anxious, I feel like you're going to come out of that because you're going to trust your higher self. You're going to listen to that Christ consciousness. And we have Stevie Wonder living for the city, you know, so someone could have been living for perhaps, um, appearances the city is like where things are big and grand and very expensive and so maybe somebody lives in the city um and maybe you live on the outskirts or maybe you live in the city and they live on the outskirts whatever the case may be i just get a sense of like you know hustle bustle um you know working hard you know i get a sense of like maybe even a lot of material things because you know when you're in the city that's where all of the shopping stores are uh you know your Saks and your macy's and all those you know top brand stores so maybe somebody was kind of living up to uh societal standards you know in the city you know you have to put on this front and, and, and pretend to be doing so well. So maybe somebody was literally like, you know, caught up in the rapture thinking, you know, that they had to appear a certain way because uh, this is Stevie Wonder. Um, but this is the death of that. You know, this is the, the death of that. Maybe you've walked away from something, ended something because this is that world. So the world is all about, you know, very... Um, powerful changes endings in your lives those are karmic completions as well um closing out cycles cycles that like i said you could have been you know um navigating for not just this lifetime but from former lifetimes and now you have completed that cycle this is a major completion like this is not easy but with this 29 i definitely feel like you know um there's a lot of divine intervention like your angels and ancestors were very instrumental uh in your guardianship in protecting you uh because i feel like you got some some real uh you got work here to do like you're here to help heal the collective because you had that great healer you know the healer of the ages here so this usually tells me that you have been initiated um from the divine you know to do some some very um powerful spiritual work so it's like you have a calling um and you have a life path and so with this energy, it's like you're, you've learned to navigate, um, this, this planetary space, this, this physical space and time. And so you also will have the ability to help others navigate and, and to, um, you know, confront certain, uh, circumstances you know so with this i do feel also there's a sense of distant space between you and another person um the two of you may not be in communication look at this we got miracle on the bottom of the deck so expect a miracle uh you have wish fulfillment coming in and i feel like that's why i was picking up like you know you could sense you know because archangel uriel is here and this is all about your your cerebral activity so your intuition you know being very intuitive being very intentional um you know with your thoughts what you're thinking what you're doing and i just feel like there's this strong sense of you being the master manifester of something beautiful that's coming in look at that i can't make this up medicine woman and expect a miracle so this says you have divine healing power so you know the the gifts that you possess, just as I said, you know that you have a calling and you also have some haters. You got some haters that are hating, doing what they do best. These are parasites. These are energy vampires. Why are they hating? They're hating because you have walked away and you have created space. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you have a sense of knowing who these individuals were because I feel like a lot of you all trusted what you were feeling intuitively. You trusted the, the, the downloads that you were getting from your, your spirit team, your ancestors. And I feel like you also are trusting your inner gumption. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, you're, you're trusting that, uh, you know, you're trusting that, um, like I said, that inner gumption. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on. Divine Spirit. This is the Divine uh, Goddess Guidance deck. So let's see what we got. Divine Spirit, Love and Light. I'm just going to get um, two messages from this. And then I'm going to get a couple of messages from my deck. And then we're going to wrap it up. Because I don't want to do a long one. I got to get back on the clock. 
All right, so these are our messages. So look at that. We have sacred space. So a lot of you all could be dedicating a lot of time in front of your altars. You could be giving offerings to your ancestors, pouring libation, giving them flowers, fresh flowers weekly. You could be blowing tobacco. You could be putting their favorite foods, snacks, and treats on the altars. I feel like there's a lot of divine connection and connectivity that takes place when you do this. Um, I feel if you're lighting candles, I feel like pay attention to how the candle uh, flame jumps and the way that it communicates. Pay attention to the way the candle burns um, because there's communication, divine communication. But this is about surrendering to uh, that divine power from spirit. I feel like that's what you all are doing. I feel you're also becoming stronger in your spiritual gifts and talents. Look at this infinite supply. So you are receiving some sort of infinite supply. This is monetarily. This is financially. This is... Um, emotionally. I feel like you're going to be content. You're going to be satisfied. And this is bringing a lot of joy confirmation. My phone just went off. So with this purple, this is a purple card. Like I said, you are very sensitive. So you know this, you've been manifesting this. I feel like you're just at the tail end of completing some sort of cycle. And I feel like if you are ruminating and pining on how, what, when, where, it's like, trust the process, trust divine timing. That is the perfect timing. Um, so be patient, beloved. Uh, definitely um, continue to be proactive, work on yourselves. Uh, you know, patience is a form of action. So continue to do what you're doing because the divine is telling you, you are going to be supplied for not just today, but all of your tomorrow. So this is your birthright to live in abundance, to have opulence, to have things expand for you so that you can not only just help yourselves in your circumstance, but also be a beacon of light also be someone that can help other people in their times of need because that's why you're going to be blessed with so much and next we have what high priestess i mentioned high priestess vibrations energy i was picking up on that i've mentioned high priest so this is what you are you are someone that needs to trust your own inner gumption and i don't have to tell you that because not only do you have the high priestess but you also have this archangel uriel which also deals with the crown chakra and then you also had that that thinking woman, which is also very, very uh, psychic. And then you also have the magician in the mirror uh, here on the board, along with the healer of the ages. So you are very powerful. And I feel like you know this, but now you're owning it. And so you're a healer, a master teacher. It says you have divine knowledge that can help others. And that's exactly what I was picking up. I feel like you all have a calling to help other people in their journey. And you have to be bold and fierce and take risks. Step outside of your comfort zone. Maybe someone is trying to find some level of confidence to come toward you, uh, to um, express themselves, to express what they desire. So we have financial freedom here on the bottom of my deck that I will use to clarify clarify and then we're going to wrap it up. So financial success, freedom. So you're definitely attracting abundance, attracting opulence, attracting more. And you have someone here, maybe someone that could have been telling lies, telling tall tales. You know, maybe you're not very trusting of someone because you feel like they were not being very authentic or honest in the past that wants to return. What did I say about y'all being rare breeds, rare breeds. So this is black sheep misunderstood and Mr. Understood. So I feel like you know, if you are dealing with people, you know, from your past that want to return, these individuals could have shunned you because they didn't realize who they was dealing with. We got, um, we have, you radiate love and light here, and then we have rare breeds. So someone's finally seeing, uh, just how special you are, just how much of that divine feminine masculine that you absolutely are and has always been. And as I said, when you, you know, when you play hard to get, or when you don't realize what you have, you can mess around and lose it. And I feel like that's what someone is realizing. Uh, definitely wear your protective jewelry because, because remember we had uh, this deceptive, envious, jealous, hateful ass person just watching you. Uh, and this is someone that's studying. They're not just watching, they're studying and they're getting blinded by your light because we did see uh, that you were radiating love and light. So as I said, I feel like some of y'all could be getting some sort of recognition. You could be going viral. You could be getting something, you know, some level of success and somebody is like really studying you. So just be mindful of that. Wear your protective jewelry. Definitely uh, clean, clear, cleanse your spaces. Uh, put on your, your amulets. Uh, what did I say? You have a, a secret admirer 
that really loves you and they want to express this, uh, but they have some difficulty expressing that, communicating that. They see you as beautiful, very attractive. They see you as someone very rare. I said these things. You're like an individual. You do things very uniquely. You don't go with the crowd. You do things the, your own way, your own accord. And that shit is attractive. It's sexy as hell. So the bottom of the deck, look at that. All that shuffling I did and you got financial freedom here. So look what you're being, you're being rewarded because you all have healed your heart chakra and have been loving yourselves. You have been practicing self-care. So a lot of you have been very financially disciplined, managing your money, um, taking care of yourself, just like rebuilding you know, after some sort of tower moment and just really taking care of yourselves, like planting new seeds and roots, building on a stronger, solid foundation. And now you're like independent, self-sufficient and self-reliant. We have J Electronica. This is called dealing. So I feel like after you're dealing with someone that could have broke your heart, I feel like you knew you had to change, you know, um, ultimately, you know, how you responded to things. So that's why you started to heal, um, you know, heal at that soul level, uh, heal those inner child wounds and you know even heal from someone lying and being deceptive because we're about to clarify forgiveness so you have to forgive that pathological liar um that narcissist uh that abuser that mental uh manipulator you know that m m master manipulator i should say uh that's what you had to forgive uh you had to forgive the dealings with people that you ultimately discovered was wasting your time and your energy and so now you know when you forgive the act of forgiveness and discovering all the lies and all the trickery and all the fuckery. It's like you're now, um, you're coming out of the haze because you, you, instead of like, uh, instead of looking for someone to fault and blame, uh, because even though someone is a liar, um, you still got to heal yourselves for, um, dealing with that. You still got to recover from that. So I feel like that's what you all did. You took the opportunity to go within, you know, cause this is about doing those internal self audits as well. Um, you know, soul searching, deep diving, um, you know, that's about self discovery as well. And I feel like you discovered a lot about yourself, namely, um, you know, your love language and what it require, what you require moving forward in order to ever open your heart up again. So with you ain't got to lie, that is not a love language for Scorpios. I feel like many of you all sought wise counsel, started to build your knowledge in terms of your spirituality. You started to uh, utilize more time in front of your altars, devoting more time, surrendering to spirit, moving out of, you know, the, the, um, driver's seat and letting the divine drive you. So let's see, why is forgiveness, the moon and what a value here for what's in the, um, in the environment. And so we have manifest that shit. Didn't I say with this six, you know, that 96 reduces to 15, that's six. So you were receiving downloads from the divine telling you how to manifest what you desire, how to, you know, come out of that space of feeling pain, hurt, resentment, animosity, but, you know, turning that pain into power because you realize you had the power. You realize you were the sole controller of your universe. And you, this is something you discovered after taking those deep dives, you know, whatever you discovered about that person that was being deceptive and dishonest, it's like, you didn't let that block you or hinder you or paralyze you. I feel like you let that power you up, if anything, and you literally became the conduit of change and you started to, you know, love yourself. This is about love that self. This is about finding emotional equilibrium as well. And you manifested this change by setting the intention. You were very intentional. And so we have, um, Mama Oshun here. And so this person that you are attracting, this person sees you as Mama Oshun. They're trying to manifest their divine feminine back into their lives because they've completed a karmic lesson. This person has also been really devoting a lot of time, uh, you know, perhaps in um, building a relationship of rapport with their ancestors. Maybe they've been reading scripture. Maybe they've been seeking wise counsel, going to elders in their family or in their community and seeking answers. And what they've realized is that you are um, someone very beautiful, someone beautiful, not just externally, but internally, like your soul, your light that shines is very beautiful. It's very attractive, very alluring. And so this person now feels and trusts and believes that you are their divine feminine because we have Keisha Cole, trust and believe. So they believe you are their divine feminine. Um, they believe with you, they can have a very uh, victorious and healthy connection because there is 
love. They trust and believe that you are love. And whoever they was dealing with, whoever that karmic was, mistress is what they call me and I answer to it. Uh, no shame. The person they could have been dealing with, they realized that they were, you know, really just like a skank. Um, you know, someone that was like a hoe, someone that was just loose, someone that was promiscuous, someone that was a player, someone that was just a waste of their time. And they couldn't trust nor believe this person with, you know, any fabric of their being. They just couldn't trust them as far as they could throw them literally and so this is what they're realizing is that they was dealing with somebody who could have been just like that succubus or incubus type of energy a parasite someone that just takes 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 and never gives and so now this person sees you in a completely different light as someone very beautiful very attractive very nurturing very caring and also someone very healthy you have a healthy emotional uh uh you know um love language that they can you know that they can appreciate and so with unplugged disconnect this person and you may not be in communication because they are literally doing their internal self audits now they're now uh looking at things and and gaining a better understanding you know of why things may have transcended or transpired excuse me the way that they did so why is love victory infinite supply so i was picking up on the fact that this could be someone from your past that you know look at this love person that loves you loves you they feel you're their person you match their fly you are the yang to their yin the yin to their yang this is the six of cups this could be the two of cups this could also be the lovers this is my deck i created it so this is literally how they feel like you you uh complete them that they could have an equal exchange with you that there is an equal give and take in this connection emotionally that you are emotionally aligned with them you speak their love language they feel like they can trust you they could believe the things that you say you know and I feel like they could have been dealing with someone that could have potentially been trying to interfere, run an interference in this connection. Uh, maybe their own negative words or thoughts, uh, because remember we had mental notes, so maybe they was constantly ruminating and pining and thinking negatively, speaking negatively about this connection. They created some sort of block, uh, you know, within the dynamic between you and them, because it says words are spells, spells bind. Mind your words and stop. Um, and stay protected. So even if this is you, you know, like, you know, if you were speaking negatively about a situation, know your power because you all have the power to manifest your thoughts into reality. Um, don't be the one saying, I don't want love. I ain't think about love because guess what? Love won't be think about you either because everybody wants love. Everybody wants to be in a healthy connection. I don't give a damn who you are or what you've been through. That is everyone's desire. We are born to, you know, to, to, um, have these beautiful connections and relationships and bonds with people. So why would you not, if you could have the opportunity to be in a healthy relationship, why would you not want to be? So, you know, that's why I'd be like, you know, you, you could say it all you want, but you wouldn't be on a video watching, uh, you know, a, a title that says, you know, someone coming in, if you didn't really care about who was coming in. So don't lie to yourself and you can't lie to the divine. Divine knows all sees all. So with this energy, that's why they're telling you, look, remember what you're saying, what you speak out into the ethers, you manifest because you all are master manifestors. So whoever this person was that you had this ending with or whoever this person was that just completed a cycle, I feel like they want to double back around because this person realizes that you match their fly. They see you as very beautiful. They see you as very powerful. They see you as someone that is very beautiful, um, you know, very um very trustworthy, someone that's a healer, like you just have a natural healing quality, nurturing quality, maternal or paternal quality. And so as much as they tried to deceive themselves, because remember I was hearing deny, 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 they could have been denying this connection the whole time. And the whole time they've been denying it, they were still thinking about your ass day and night, which is why you still had them in your energy because you was picking up on it intuitively. So this person, I feel because you... Scorpios have like completed a karmic cycle and healed thyself. Now you've triggered, activated someone to do the same. And so now they are looking to come towards you. See this? Be healthy. So someone needs to think healthy. You know, when you think negatively, you have the ability to create that reality. That's why I was saying earlier, like, you know, don't be the person talking about what you can't do and how you won't be able to get this. And, oh, I don't have. And, oh, I don't know. And if, if you don't and can't, then you just won't. <laughs> Period. Um, so we have Tiana Taylor tonight. So for some of you all, 
I just feel like somebody may uh, may receive a phone call tonight. Some of y'all might receive a phone call uh, tonight. The name of this album is called The Cassette Tape 1994. So some of you all, that could be your birth year. So why is... Um, why is Rebirth, Thinking Woman, Archangel Uriel, and Anxiety here? So maybe somebody really thinks of you during the night because I'm getting like nocturnal. See that? Good things take time to create. Patience, young grasshopper. And that's what I was picking up earlier that, you know, it's going to take time. And it says, I want to get to know you better, better digging on you. So this is literally like that. You know, that um, secret admirer vibes. But this person knows as well as you, you know, the importance of divine timing. Divine timing is literally the perfect timing because you never know what someone is clearing out or clearing up or cutting off. So it's like, that's why you can't rush the process. And that maybe that's why somebody, you know, may need to hear, you know, that things are going to take a little time just because you don't see it happening or you don't see evidence that something's coming in. Um, it shouldn't deter you uh, from still calling it in, you know, so through this transformation, through you emerging someone new, I feel like you have been growing, evolving and stepping your game up just in terms of even your spirituality, your strength, uh, your strengths, your knowledge, your gifts, your talents. And it has made you very, very psychic, very sensitive to energy. You speak energy, you speak vibration. You may see auras. You may be a psychic oracle sorceress. We already saw high priestess I was picking up. So I feel somebody could be up in their head because they don't know how to come towards this type of energy. This is very powerful energy. And so they could be up in their head trying to figure out a strategy, a means, a methods, and a way. And so I feel like with good things take time to create, it's going to be a good outcome. Uh, because this person will eventually come towards you and say, look, I want to get to know you better. You know, I'm digging you. They're going to just be honest and they're going to be very transparent and they're going to say exactly what uh, they've been feeling and what they've been hiding um, for a while. You know what I'm saying? So um, what are we doing? Uh, so what we have right here. What's playing right now is sensual seduction. So this person will seduce you. I feel like this person will come in, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to be all sensual and all sexy. And they're going to literally try to um, seduce you. And I see here, um, let me see. Let me see. I want to get some. These are, these are just letters, um, numbers, and the names of a few archangels. So I just, I'm, I'm feeling called to just get a couple just to, you know. Add a little spice to the read and y'all. All right. So I see the number three. Some of y'all could have been born on the third uh, day, maybe um, October 30th. Maybe you were born on October. Um, maybe you were born on uh, November 3rd. Maybe three is your life path number. Maybe someone that you are attracting could have been born on the third day in the third month. We got the number one. So this also could be someone's life path number. So someone could have been born on November 1st. Maybe some of you all, um, let me see. Yep. Okay. And then we have Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Raphael came out in the reading. So this is double confirmation. So this is speaking to a lot of emotional fulfillment, love, appreciation, joy, satisfaction, happiness. We got the letter E here. So someone may, you know, have uh, a special person who has a letter E in their name, first, middle, last initial. Um, this could also just be speaking to the ending. You know what I'm saying? The ending, every ending denotes a new beginning. So I do feel with this E, I'm hearing endings, endings of cycles, karmic completions are endings. Um, and then we have the letter V. So I feel like with this V, we already had victory. So you're having some sort of victorious outcome. There's a victory, there's success, there's breakthroughs. I feel like some of you all may have someone who uh, first, middle, or last name may have um, a, a V. And then we have the letter B. So this is breakthroughs. So someone is literally having some sort of major breakthrough. Um, I also, I'm hearing the word bold. And remember, you had bold here, Freya. So you have to be bold. You have to be daring. You have to be risky. I see the letter I on the bottom of the deck. So I am sensing that, you know, there's a strong sense of independence. I feel like you all are realizing that you are uh, the alchemists, you are the magis, you are the soul controllers and uh, of your destiny, of your lives. You know, I'm hearing I am, I am. And I'm hearing get a couple more. So let me get a couple more. So we got 
M, so first, middle, or last name initial. So this is beautiful, this energy right here. I'm hearing Archangel Michael. So a lot of you all, tomorrow, do that Archangel Michael nine-week ritual. Give honor, respect, and watch the miracles that Archangel Michael, uh, Archangel Mikael brings forth. Remember, we had miracle also showed up. It also um, showed up at the bottom of the deck with, with the goddess guidance. So I do feel like you all are going to have some miracles that come through. And remember, uh, be humble. Download. You're getting a lot of divine downloads. Your divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flame, soulmate is coming in. Whatever falls, that's the last message. Okay. All right. Do I take all of these? Yeah. Be humble. Remember, be humble. I feel you're also going to be very happy. I'm hearing you're going to be happy uh, with the outcome. You're also going to be elated. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, just be very humble. Someone may have a, a H in their first, middle, or last name. We have also F. So this is first, middle, or last name. Have a little fun. You know, find some, some, some adventure. Seek adventure in your lives. I also hear the word free. Free dome. So free your mind. Get out of this, this, this mental... Funk, if this is your energy, maybe your person is going to be freeing themselves. Uh, and we have the letter L here. So if some of you all, you may have, uh, you know, uh, this could be someone that you're attracting or this could be, you know, your ancestors. If you have loved ones in the spirit realm and they have any of these initials, they could also be very intricate. So you have the letter L here. I'm hearing love. Archangel Metatron. So this is that first eye chakra. Trust your own intuition, your own intergumption. Trust what feels right in your spirit. X, there's an X that is of significance. Maybe somebody's going to be very, um, very um, remorseful, you know, but I feel like you're also, you know, blocking out anyone's access to you from your past that may have caused pain, hurt, agony. We got the number seven. So this could be your life path number. This could be someone born in the seventh month on the seventh day. Maybe someone was born 11, seven. And then we have Z. So we have the letter Z. So this to me is just saying that, you know, when you're resting, uh, make sure to protect yourselves when you're resting because you could have people like, um, you know, I'm getting a sense of like um, waking up during those uh, witching hours. So while you're resting, you can have someone literally like, you know, trying to manipulate your energy, you know, because remember, you still got this deceit card here, this envious uh, energy there, that very stank energy. And so we have um, Envo giving him something he can feel. So yeah, so someone could be dealing with like an incubus succubus thinking that they can just sex their way through a, a difficult time and that's going to keep somebody there. But I feel like, you know, someone is literally like, you know, falling to bed, you know, falling to rest, um, you know, real early so they wouldn't have to engage in. I don't know where that came from, but that's what I'm getting. And T, it's a matter of time. Divine timing is of the essence. You also could be dealing with someone that has a T in their um, name, or maybe you have an ancestor um, that is in the spirit realm watching over you, that's protecting you and supporting you and guiding you. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, beloveds, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time. Ashi.